Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Tech For You, Tech That Matters. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to reconnect your Mercury smart bulbs back to your home Wi-Fi network. Now, I've had issues in the past where I could not reconnect them through the Google Home app. But fortunately enough, I have the Genie app, which goes along with the Mercury bulb setup. So I'm going to show you exactly how to reconnect everything back to your home Wi-Fi network in a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's jump right back into the video. To find the Genie app, all you have to do is go into your Google Play Store and just type in Genie, which would be right here. Once you find the Genie app, go ahead and install it, and it is free to use. You don't have to pay a monthly subscription, nothing like that. It's absolutely free. So I'll leave a link in the bottom description for this app as well. Okay, so the smart bulbs are already in my office. Now, what I'm going to do is give you a demonstration on what it looks like if the smart bulbs um disconnect from your home network now this could be caused by a power outage or maybe someone's flipping a switch too many times and it's been resetted whatever the case may be i'm going to show you how to reconnect it to your broadband network now don't forget guys that it has to run off of a 2.4 gigahertz broadband in order for this to work so let's go ahead and show you exactly how to get this done okay so if you look very closely you can see both bulbs are flashing so the next step is now go into the Genie app to reconfigure the bulbs to connect back to your broadband network. What you need to do is go into your phone, go into your apps, and look for the Genie app. Once you get the Genie app brought on, what you want to do is go ahead and hit the plus button on the top right. Click this and select Smart Lighting. Now it tells you right off the bat that your phone needs to be connected to a Wi-Fi network and make sure it's connected to the same network that the bulbs are requiring you to use. So turn on your Wi-Fi like you're seeing me do right here and make sure again it's connected to a 2.4 gigahertz. Once this is happening, it's gonna start adding the devices by looking for the Wi-Fi signal from the bulbs. Now, right when you have a connection, both bulbs are going to stop flashing and automatically Google is going to register these devices and as you can see here they have been successfully added so now you have the ability to control the lighting inside the app to adjust your smart bulb so I have two lights so this is the second one and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you what you need to do from here. Okay, so behind here is my switch for my lights. Okay, right now it is turned on. So in order to make this work, you have to literally hit on the plug. And let me see if I can show you this. You have to turn it off. Let me see if I can get a good, okay, so right here. If you pay attention, right here is the switch that tells you it's on. You would have to, uh, Push it down once, up once, two, turn it on, three, down, four, up four. So four times, like up, down, up, down, up, down, and leave it on. Once that happens, that's when the lights are going to flash like this. And just like inside the Genie app that I have showed you, once you have a simple connection, it would reconnect to the bulbs automatically. And that's it so that's pretty much it guys those are the mercury smart bulbs and i have to say that with me using these bulbs for over a year i have no complaints whatsoever they are very energy efficient they are very very reliable and on a budget you can't beat it so if you did like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be leaving a link at the bottom of the description for these smart bulbs. So that way, if you want to go check them out and give it a shot, you'll have the opportunity to do so. So until then, I'll catch you on the next video. But be safe. And um, yeah, peace.